Hello, everyone. How are you, people of God? It is Lakeidra again. And I pray that your faith is in God. It doesn't matter about the mountain. When your faith is in God, without a doubt in your heart, you will see the mountain move. Hallelujah. The problem is defeated. This is the key, having faith in God. And so, people of God, thank you so much for coming on, joining with me. I wanted to bring to you another word of encouragement and powerful nuggets to help you stand strong. Whatever you're facing in your marriage and you're believing God, remember, believing God is how the mountain is moved. Jesus said in Mark chapter 9 to the father whose son was possessed by a devil. What Jesus said to the man is so profound, and he's saying it to each and every one of us. Everyone that is listening under the sound of my voice. Jesus spoke to the man and told him that if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Because remember the man, he cried out, he says, oh God, if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. But Jesus told him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. And how can someone believe people of God unless they have heard about him? The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10, verse 14. How can someone ever believe God can turn around their situation unless they have heard how he's able to turn around their situation? The Bible tells us in how can they hear unless someone tells them. So then faith. The Bible tells us in verse 17 of Romans chapter 10, faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. So the word of God has to be heard. It has to be heard from what God has spoken. The word of God has to be constantly heard about him for faith to come in God. And Jesus tells us in Mark chapter 9 that all things are possible to him that believeth. With God, all things are possible to him that believeth. And what he tells us in Mark chapter 11, verse 22, have faith in God. He says in verse 23, I tell you the truth. For verily I say unto you. That whosoever shall say to this mountain. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. And down in verse 24 he says. Therefore I say unto you. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And so all this stems from having faith in God. It stems from seeing who God is. Faith comes when we see who God is. Seeing God brings faith. You'll have the same faith of God. You will be able to say to that situation, be thou removed. And it will be moved. Jesus is showing us that faith comes by hearing about God. We have faith in him. You'll find out that the situation is now possible to be moved. 
the situation is possible to be moved. There is hope. And Jesus gives us that hope when we come to know him, when we come to him. And that hope turns into faith. You'll go from having hope to believing and having faith in God. And nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. As the scriptures say, God made them male and female. Think about that. God created male and female. God is who created us. And for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be united. They shall be united into one flesh. All because God. It's all because of God. And when your faith is in God, you will believe. In him. You will see that you who may be separated in the natural, that with God you're being united into one flesh. Hallelujah. That's the key. Turn into him, God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. So it's turning to the word of God. And when we turn to the word of God, faith comes. Faith comes by hearing, and by hearing by the word of God. Hearing what the word said, hear what God has spoken. Hearing what thus says the Lord, faith will come. And when faith comes, nothing that God has spoken will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. And he goes on and say, down in verse 6, Wherefore? They are no more two but one flesh. And what therefore God hath joined together. Let not man put asunder. And then he says. They said unto him. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement. And put her away. He said unto them. Moses because of the hardness of your hearts. Suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning. It was not so. So the Lord is saying it's because of the hardness of your hearts that this has happened. It's because the Lord is absent in that person's heart. It's because that person is not hearing. But what did God say about the hearts? He turns it whichever way he pleases. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turns it whithersoever, whithersoever he will. And so nothing is too hard for God. With God, all things are possible. God is the one to turn and soften the hearts. Hallelujah. He is the one to still bring forth his word and what he promised concerning your marriage. And so it's all about having faith in God. Seeing God as greater. Seeing God greater than the heart of that spouse of yours. Hallelujah. And nothing will be impossible for you. You'll see the mountain move. You'll see the heart turn. You'll see what God spoke in his word. Hallelujah. And so people of God, whatever you are facing right now. Faith. Is what will move the mountain. And faith comes by hearing. And by hearing by the word of God. And so I want to pray. For that one right now. To not miss it. To not miss what I'm saying. But that the Lord will begin to help your eyes to see. And your ears to hear. What the spirit of the Lord is saying. So that you will be moved to act. You will begin to. Move into the things of God and turn to his word and hear them because that's how faith comes. And you will say when faith comes what God says and what God said, it will come to pass as you have faith 
that what he has said will happen. And it will happen. That's what the Lord is showing us in Mark chapter 11. That having faith in God, you will begin to act. You will begin to declare over that situation. Be gone. You will see that the situation will be gone. You will say that the situation will be gone. That God is coming through for you. That your marriage is as God has spoken it. As a result of having faith in God. You will begin to declare your marriage is whole and your marriage is healed. You will begin to declare that you are united as one. That God has put to death all hostility and enmity between you through his blood. As the word shows us in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. God put to death all hostility and enmity that will separate relationships. That will separate the body of Christ. That will separate husbands and wives. Jesus has put to death all these things in his own body. Otherwise there will not be a uniting. There will not be oneness. There will not be unity. Christ had to put to death all hostility and enmity that separates us. He had to put it to death. The Bible shows us that he has done these things over 2,000 years ago. And when you have faith in God and what he has done. My God, you'll look at that divorce. You'll look at that situation. You will look at that marriage. You'll call it what God says it is. You will say hallelujah to the separation, to the divorce. Get behind me. Be removed. Hallelujah. Be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see that that thing is defeated. All because of what Christ has already done for you. All of what God has already done for you. You will believe in him. You will see he has power. And he's greater than it all. Father, I pray in Jesus name. That the eyes of your people understand and be enlightened. That they will see and believe upon you. My God. For with you all things are possible. You have already done these things before the foundation of the world. You have already put to death all hostility and enmity that separates us. You are our peace. Thank you Lord God for restoration in marriages. Thank you that, that divorce has no power over them. Thank you, Lord. You softens the heart. You have power over the hearts. Oh, God, thank you. For you have sent forth your word. You have, oh, God, through your blood reconciled man back unto you. Lord, thank you. That hearts that was once hardened. Lord, you are putting in them your spirit. Bringing, Lord God, forth love. Lord, thank you that it is by your power that you are given Husbands and wives, the desires of your heart, you're putting in them your spirit and causing them to walk in your ways. That's what your word says. And we believe upon you, God. We believe upon you, Lord God, that even the mountains that stands in the way will be moved. Because with you, all things are possible. In the beginning, you created the heavens and the earth. You caused the waters to be parted. You caused dry grounds to be seen. And Lord, you certainly causes the mountains to be moved. We can say to any mountain, be moved. And having faith in what you said about the mountain, we know that we were said by faith when we believe in you and it shall obey us. And so, Lord, we say to the separation and to the divorces that's in marriages today, get behind us, be removed right now. For what God has joined, let no man put asunder. Lord, thank you. You causes the man to leave father and mother and cleave unto his wife. And they shall be united into one flesh. And so we say to separation and division, be removed and be cast into the sea. It is written, get behind us in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Lord God, for your holy word, your power and your authority. You have given us to tread upon serpents and scorpions and to have power over all the power of the devil. And nothing shall by any means harm us or stand against us. We call it done in Jesus' name. Lord, faith comes by hearing. May your people continue hearing your word. 
not forgetting what they have heard from the beginning. But cling on to your word and you said they will produce a harvest. Clinging on to your word, hearing your word causes faith to come. May they all be strong in faith. Walking by faith and not by sight. Praise your holy name and they shall declare those things that be not as though they are. We praise you in advance. Thank you for miracles. Thank you, Lord God, for causing the eyes and the understanding of your people to be enlightened. That they will see your power and your glory. And have faith in you, God. And trust in your word. We bless you and thank you. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to walk by faith and not by sight. Giving us, oh God, the power of death and life in our tongue. Where we could declare and decree a thing. And it is established. When out of the abundance of our hearts, our mouth began to speak. Thank you, Lord, for faith. Hallelujah. We praise you. Thank you, God. The mountains are being moved. Thank you for miracles. Trust him, people of God. He has sent forth his word to heal you. To bring forth faith. That it will deliver you out of all of destruction. And until next time, remember you are blessed. I love you and God loves you too. And until next time, bye-bye.